Good morning, class. Welcome to our reading test. Remember to listen to all three of the reading videos to give you, I give you plenty of help to master the reading test. Intensive farming. We can feed the world. Feeding the world is a big challenge. Everybody should get involved. It is our responsibility. The world's population is increasing every day and every person on earth needs food to survive. To help meet these growing needs for food, people have turned to special methods of farming called intensive farming. Intensive farming is done on a very large farms. Crops are grown in huge fields and, uh, and are then sold. Intensive farming produces food more quickly and more cheaply than ever before. It is the best way to meet the challenges of feeding our world. With a quick look around a farm using intensive farming, you'll know, would notice there are not many workers. These large farms are mechanized. People who work, people and work animals have been replaced by modern machines. These machines do the jobs of a team of workers. Farmers use sophisticated machines such as combine harvesters. But Farming is easier because these large machines can easily cover a large area of geography in a short amount of time. Many of the machines have more than one purpose. For example, one machine can harvest, separate, and load corn. What a machine. This saves the farmers time and money. <coughs> Intensive farming and Intense farming, a large amount of food is grown by a few people. This makes the food less expensive than food sold by smaller farms. Lower prices, part, prices means more people can afford it. With intensive farming, a field that once grew food for 10 people can now feed 100. That's 10 times as much. This scientific data points out that intensive farming is a valuable method of producing food. Farmers on these large farms often use new variants of plants. Scientists have developed plants that can produce more food. One example is a corn plant that grows more corn cobs. I don't know if you knew this, but it used to be that one corn plant would produce one cob. One corn plant, one cob. Some plants have been created so they can do not spoil quickly. These plants can be shipped long distances and stay fresh. Could you imagine if each plant grew two or four cops? That would give you four times as much food in the same amount of, of soil. As plants grow, they get the materials they need from the soil. This happens naturally over time, but this is too slow for large farms. Scientists develop fertilizer that have the correct amounts of chemical nutrients for plants to grow well. This allows farmers to plant the same crop every year in the same soil. Scientists also generate new ideas to help farmers protect their crops. They develop a wide variety of pesticides that kill the insects that eat the crops. Herbicides are developed to kill the weeds. So pest gets rid of insects, herb gets rid of plants. Now if you knew your Greek and Latin roots, you know that the herb means plant and pest means insect. And so a pesticide kills the insects and a herbicide kills the, the plants or the weeds. These advances in science help meet the goals of growing more food. There are many people to feed on our plant. There are many people to feed on our plants. planet. There will be even more people in the future. Thanks to intense farming, more affordable food is available. Intensive farming is the best way to be certain that each and every person gets enough to eat. Alright, let's check out number one. You should have your answer key. Make sure your name's on that one. Number one says, what is the main idea of this article? Scientists develop ways to help farmers protect their crops. Intensive farming is the best way to feed the world. Always have a few people growing a lot of food. Intensive farming is a good way to farm. I'm going to get rid of C and A for you so you have to pick from the intensive farming one because the whole article was about intensive farming.
And I like how they ask you the question. They started with it at the beginning, and they ended with it at the last one. So if you reread that first paragraph and last paragraph, it'll give you the answer to A. Remember, all the answers are found right here in the text. It's just a matter of if you're going to take the time and do it correctly. Number two, read these sentences from the article. These large farms are mechanized. People and work animals have been replaced by modern machines. The root of mechanized means something to do with machines. Therefore, mechanized farms have many they have many fields, many machines, many plants, many workers. I don't know, pretty easy. Number three. Read the sentence from the article. Farmers use sophisticated machines such as combine harvesters. The root sophisticated means no longer simple. Knowing this suggests that sophisticated machine is one that is available, that it is complicated, that it is new, that it's repaired. Don't pick new. All right. Number four. It says, read this sentence from the article. Farming is easier because these large machines can easily cover a large area of geography in a short amount of time. The Greek origin of geography is means earth. Geo means earth. Knowing this suggests that geography is the study of air, land, space, or water. Earth. Which one of those is earth? Is earth air? Is earth land? Is earth space? Is earth water? Number five. Read this sentence from the article. This scientific data points out that intense farming is a valuable method of producing food. If value means usefulness, what does valuable mean? Remember, a bull is one of our Greek suffixes. Able to be useful, without usefulness, made of usefulness, needing something useful. Pick A or B. Number six. Read this sentence from the article. They develop a wide variety of pesticides that kills insect that eat crops. What point does this text evidence support? Crops are hard to grow. Insects can damage plants. Farmers need to get rid of pesticides. Farmers should never use pesticides. Number seven. What evidence does the author use to promote the idea of intense farming? Promote means to try to sell it. Details about how farms are helped. The fact that crops are grown on farms. Details about why fertilizers are needed, or the fact that the world's population is growing. Number eight. The author supports the idea that intensive farming produces more food by using personal experience, scientific data, interviews, or TV shows. Now, these two things weren't even in our article. Now, I'm not even sure about this one either. I think there's only one choice that's even feasible if you've read the story well. All right, number nine. Read this sentence from the article. Scientists also generate new ideas that help farmers protect their crops. The Greek root of generate means to create. What does generate mean? Plant, produce, ship, stop. And number 10. What text evidence best supports the author's point that new varieties of plants can be useful in feeding the world? 
crops are grown in huge fields and then are sold as plants grow they get materials they need from the soil some plants have been created so they do not spoil quickly the world's population is increasing every day and every person on earth needs food to survive all right guys test uh, one through ten take a short break and come back for the second video for the second half of the multiple choice portion of the test